This is a conventional microscope, but it has a digital camera here on top that is connected to the computer so we can take images of the test and we can store it on the computer. And phase contrast is a filter that we use on the microscope to check in the, the red cells and signs of uh, some other things like liver stress and some kind of infections. And to check the white cell we have to switch uh, to another filter that is called dark field. Even on dark field we can see the white cells, how they are doing. We can check the immune system, how active it is or is not. And we do another test that is called uh, a dry smear or cloud retraction test where we can see some other stuff like the amount of free radicals, some signs of vitamin deficiencies. Well, it's not diagnostic by itself, it's more like a screening because it gives us a general idea how uh, the blood is uh, working. Uh, but uh, we have to use the conventional blood work uh, along with this kind of test so we can do a better evaluation of the test. What is common to find is sometimes like yeast infections or even mycoplasma which is very small and is very, very hard to find or see it. Well, it's not very often to find <laughs> very clean blood because we treat with patients, with sick people. Even people that think that they are healthy, we have some or find some issues on the blood. For patients that they think they are healthy, we can check their blood and we can find a lot of different things like signs of poor digestion, low immune system, even signs of uh, plaque, cholesterol, uh, uric acid and some other stuff that um, on a regular or conventional blood work we will not see. Here, here in uh, in uh, base contrast, where we are looking at, or where we try to, to well, what we do check is the different sizes and shapes. But of course, uh, bacteria, fungus, parasites, if they are the cholesterol crystals, uh, uric acid crystals. This is most of the the readings we we will find here. Uh, the candida fungus, of course, amino acids and proteins. They go undigested into your system. This is how they uh, they shape like this. Is that actually a blood cell or not? Yes, it's a red cell. Yeah, but they get uh, some uh, different shapes and sizes. This okay. is how it gets given. So they're not yes. forming properly because of the enzyme deficiency? Correct. The uh, digestive enzymes deficiency, correct. Okay. You're around. You can see another one here. All these blood spots, those are uh, bacteria from, uh, from the gut, from the intestine. We call this a blast uh, white cell. Oh. Destroy it. We will find some of those because of the... Uh, there are, uh, as you know, there are different uh, kind of uh, types of uh, white cells with uh, basophils, neutrophils, xenophils, monocytes. Uh, this here, this is a, uh, a basophil or xenophil. They glow a lot. This is how we can identify this against uh, or, uh, or the uh, neutrophils. Well, I'll show you in a few seconds. When we see this here, we are, we are saying that uh, there's Three situations that can be uh, uh, pre-diagnosed here with the uh, with the uh, basophils and mm -hmm. The first is will be uh, inflammation, parasites, or allergies. This is what the system will reproduce this in a higher volumes to uh, to to control the parasites. What I just said, uh, the allergies or the inflammation. This mm -hmm. is what this does. Yes. Mm -hmm. Parasites, inflammation, uh, and allergies. allergies. Yes, correct. This is another one here. This here, this is a neutrophil here. Hmm. It looks like it's yeah. transparent. You can see the uh, the activity of the granules here. Wow. Yes, this is a, this is a very good sign. That this lets us know their immune system is in range that is is working. When we have a low immune system, this looks like a picture. It doesn't move anything at all. The the function of this uh, neutrophil here, those uh, they work uh, in a way. Let's say like a vacuum cleaner. They clean the blood from all bacteria, parasites, and fungal. And that's got those, uh, those uh, they got some enzymes very strong to kill those. Okay, this is what this does here. That's fascinating. Those are Bartonellas. I identified this because of the black center. You see, they have the black center. Those are the ones, if we stay here for a few seconds, they start to disappear. You see, when they feel identified, they turn aside and disappear.
to how they hide from the immune system also. This is easy to get from cats and dogs. And ticks. And t of course the ticks. The, the ticks, you know, this straight related to the uh, Lyme disease situation. We, we send this to, to do the, uh, the, the, the Lyme test. These here, those are the, this is the Bartonella parasite right here. Oh, it is? Yes. See, they go into the red cell, or they stick in the red cell. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see they start to divide, they will start to multiply. This will hide in the tissues, so mm -hmm. you cannot really see mm -hmm. the real, real thing here. Mm -hmm. It is in the live blood test, or LCA test, live cell test here. We see the actual, at the moment, right now, what's going on on the system here. The right blood, we're going to see the, the, the first three drops, uh, acute situations, if they are, and I will say the, uh, the chronics. And at the same time, we'll check on some organs, that we're going to check the, I will tell you some organ uh, stress or deficiency, because we can see it there. This is another of the Bartonella parasite right here. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's the red stick on the, on the red cell. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What magnification are you using right now? Uh, the ones we uh, we had before here, uh, yeah, uh, we went we were from eighteen thousand to twenty five thousand. We can get in this here. This is for the uh, periphery of the drop. That's what we have the antioxidant areas. This is what uh, how we read this here. Easy way to 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 explain how we do this reading here. Uh, we do this like the aerosology. Is uh, quite similar to that. Iridology. Yeah, iridology, like yeah. that, yes. And uh, it's easy to explain because I say uh, the way I go, uh, as I read this, go head, neck, the chest area, the abdominal, stomach, and intestines, and at the center, down center, the, uh, the reproductive organs, which are, we are saying uh, prostate or a man or or uh, in a woman, of the course. Reproductive the reproductive organs. Organs. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. So we're starting with the head. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, the moment we we start with the uh, with the uh, uh, antioxidant, then then we go okay. in the head. Yeah. Okay. Because the antioxidant, then we got the uh, the head. If if uh, there's something there, then we got the heavy metal toxicities. Then we got the limb systems, and uh, then we got thyroid. If there's situation like that, this is the radical, the, the white the white. Uh, color here. This is the free radicals uh, activity here. Uh, I'm uh, sorry, yes. I'm having uh, oh, trouble. Yeah, in the, in the, the white. The interstitial yeah. part? The, yes. the part in between the yes. particles? Yes, yes. All, this, yeah. all this is free radical. Yeah. You see, when you have a strong antioxidant barrier here, they don't break into the red cells that okay. easy. What are we actually looking at? What are these little dots? Those are red cells. They are, okay. Yes, small ones. But this is, uh, this is in the plasma, this is what the, the, uh, oh, okay. the radical uh, okay. situation. So the gray ba background is the plasma. Yes. Oh, okay. The, yes. Uh, this dark line here, the uh, heavy metal toxicity, this here. This here is in the lymph system. Is the lymphatic system? The lymph oh, system. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is the lymph. Yes. Uh -huh. The lymph system uh, you plays high role on, uh, on the uh, autoimmune system. Uh, so this it gets uh, quite uh, loaded. So what we recommend here is to you do a drain, a limb drain massage. This is the fastest. Lymphatic yes, 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 yes. Yes, of course, and the, uh, the uh, uh, chelation therapy that you're getting, okay? I, what I'm saying now is, uh, is from experience, not what I've learned on the books or whatever they've done, but we do here in the hospital here with live patients, I can this here. Mm -hmm that I know I can tell. Mm -hmm. This here is on the, uh, on the uh, pancreas area. Now we are in the, in the third drop. The drop, third drop, we are in the stomach, start to make the stomach area and uh, the, the uh, small intestine the, mm -hmm. and large intestines mm -hmm. and the liver. Now we are, uh, we are in, the, uh, in the fourth drop. We are right on the intestines, uh, the uh, large and small intestine here. These are an indication of inflammation in the areas. Makes uh, perfect sense. Yes, this is uh, what we see here. Uh, some of the inflammation is caused by those, uh, again, those undigested uh, 
full step to get in there because those they stick in the in the lining the wall of the intestine yeah all right you may have this explanation before and uh, uh, that will cause inflammation and uh, when you have inflammation uh, on the uh, of course in the intestines the absorbing uh, channels here is what we call the uh, the uh, leaky gut yeah they open and they can go through all those bacteria, uh, candida, parasite that we saw. When we see this uh, uh, just white, do not have those acidic uh, punctures or holes in there. This is because this is inflammation. This is how we see the inflammation there. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's a darker center than the edges, than the periphery. That's that's indication that uh, you need to call to clean your colon, still continue with the, uh, with the uh, 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 your morning coffee that we call here. <laughs> yeah, okay. And the last one here, again, the colon area here, but dark. So we need to, to, uh, to continue to, to do the cleaning detox of this the, yes, indicative yes. Indicative of what organ uh, area? The, uh, the colon. Still the, the colon. Yes, yeah, okay. the colon, yes. That, was yes. that the lowest part of the colon? Uh, the, the whole area, oh, the, the whole, whole colon. Yes, okay. correct, yes. I will show you here. How, how can I, we can see this here? As you can see from a, from, uh, from a light, light, uh, dark, to quite uh, dark, this uh, uh, layer of uh, those undigested parasites, candida, bacteria, is sticking into, into your intestine. So that's what you have to be clean. As, as you know, uh, we recommend a lot that uh, the digestive tract have to be quite mm -hmm. clean. You know, most of these situations will start in the gut. You know all those right. things by now. This here is the low back situation. There we're talking, we saying a uh, uh, neck, back situation. We we can we can read those. We can see find those in in uh, in uh, what I found here. It's a low back situation in, in, in your case. That's that I can tell because of this here. Yes. It's just, it's just okay. give those, those readings. Yeah. Yeah. They appear, they just appear. They, they, so this is a oxidative stress situation of the blood. This is just, this, they, uh, they come like this. It's, yeah, you I can call it like that. Incredible, but highly accurate. I can tell you for so many years that I've been doing this.